Oh, I guess I haven't properly introduced Elise yet. I'm Elise Ludis. Hello. Well, you look like you'll be a fine lady when you grow up. I'm Alvin. It's nice to meet you. I, um, well... Don't talk to strangers, Elise! Strangers are bad. Why is this stuffed animal talking? Huh? Tipo always talks. Naturally! Oh, so I'm the one who's reacting strangely? Sure looks that way! <laughs> I'm arguing with the stuffed animal. How unusual. Unusual, she says. Coming from you, Mila? Looks like our wanted poster is making the rounds at the Sea Haven. Hmm. Does this sort of thing actually work? You tore it down? Yes, but I can't imagine a poster like this will give us any trouble. Do humans have a different sense of aesthetics than I do? Well, anyway, Mila tore it down, so we should be safe here, right? That'll never work. Keep tearing them down, and they'll keep putting them right back up. Mila? It's nothing. Alvin's right. Even with this terrible likeness, we can't afford to take chances. We should move on. All right. Given enough time, they might manage to make a replacement key as well. We need to hurry. Where did you learn to channel spirits? Where? I don't remember. She's just really talented. Well, that's why I asked. I've never seen a kid with anywhere near your master's level of skill. Really? I was channeling the four when I was much younger. You're a special case. Although it does sound like Elise here can channel spirits based on intuition alone, just like Mila. You're really something. You betcha! Jude knows what's what! Remember that you're still a child, though. In combat, you must prioritize self-protection. Okay. Mila's just worried about you. She's right. You be careful out there. Yes, perhaps that's what I should have said. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Elise is incredible at spirit channeling. Her mana lobe must be far more developed than normal. That's not true. But it is! Bet you wish yours was, too! Well, I certainly do. Must be nice to have such a powerful mana lobe when you're channeling, huh? I guess. I really don't think about it. Well, you should, since the mana lobe is inside your brain. Wait, really? I hear that sometimes the spirits will help themselves to a nice chunk of brain along with the mana. So don't channel too much, or that pretty little skull of yours will end up as hollow as a coconut. Ah! I don't want that to happen! Come on, Alvin. Don't scare her like that. <sighs> Ain't that by the skin of our teeth? I'm... I'm sorry. It's my fault that the big man attacked you. Don't be mad at Ellie. He was the one who picked the fight. There's nothing for you to apologize for. Don't worry. We'll protect you. Thank you. You're a real pal, Alvin. It ain't every day a treasure like you falls into my lap. Huh? Because you're such a gifted channeler, I mean. You know, so you'll be a big help to me, too. Whoa, hey! Those whatchamacallit shrooms are something else! It got all smoky. What was that? Those are smoke shroom spores. Clever monsters will wait until their prey gets near one. Then they'll hit the smoke shroom with a rock and take down the prey while its eyes and nose are clouded with spores. And for its part, the smoke shroom gets to spread its spores over a wider area. When life forms help each other like that, it's called symbiosis. Oh, okay. You're so smart, like one of those monsters you talked about. So does that mean people and spirits have symbiosis too? That's right. Humans give mana to the spirits, and the spirits use arts to help people. It's a perfect example of symbiosis. Well done, Elise. Thank you. That's incredible! Ellie's the smartest of all! You see how that Jow guy made monsters do his dirty work? Pretty neat trick. Ivor has some ability to control monsters, but it's nowhere near that level. I've heard there's a clan in Anjul that knows the secret art of monster control. I wonder how it works. Monsters are a pain. 
They should just learn to talk like I can. Come now, isn't it easier this way? Would you really want to kill a talking monster? I guess not. I would crush them with witty repartee. That's true. If we could negotiate with monsters, we wouldn't need to fight them all. But even if they could talk, they'd all be speaking monsterese. So hire an interpreter who's fluent in this language. <laughs> and then it turns out that's exactly what the secret art is. Whoa! You're going to Femmont to save your captured friends, right? We heard from Jude. Friends? Oh, you mean the four. They're not your friends? Well, in a sense, they do help me accomplish the things I need to do. Then they're your friends, just like us. We'll help you too. Everybody get a hand in. <laughs> to think I'd find myself on the receiving end of encouragement. Klein's quite the fool, attempting to directly defy King Noctigal. I too counseled him against it. But as you can see, he can be quite stubborn. Hey! Stop saying mean things about Drissel's brother! Klein is a good man. He most certainly is. Never have I met a lord who cares more deeply for his subjects. Indeed, he was kind and gentle long before he was a lord at all. Two years ago, when I had nowhere else to go, he was gracious enough to hire me on as his butler. Sounds like he's really important to you. Very much so. And he's so cool. Way cooler than Alvin. I beg your pardon. I didn't quite catch that. I'm sure Klein is still safe. Of that, I have no doubt. No harm will befall him on my watch. Whatever this crazy experiment is, do you really think King Noctagall himself is going to be running the show? I do not know. The Noctagall of old would have fought on the front lines instead of dealing with intrigue behind the scenes. Is that right? Noctagall's a blue blood, but he didn't shy away from combat as he climbed the military chain of command. Although lately it looks like he's been more busy with political fights for power. A pity to see him change so greatly. What was that? Yeah. Please disregard my ramblings. Regardless, Lord Klein is a great threat to Noctigal. Nothing is more threatening to a dictator than another individual with both wealth and growing popularity. Those lesser spirits were so beautiful! I've never seen one before until now. I've encountered some during my time but not the numbers we just witnessed. Then you're just like us! Indeed I am. Rowan, thank you for taking my hand when we jumped. You needn't thank me at all. I merely did what I'd do for any of my friends. That's right, we're friends. Yay! I never thought we'd make friends with someone much older. You're very good with children. No, not at all. I just know how to treat a lady. And such a charmer as well. I do get that a lot. I bet you do. I'm sorry we put you in danger again. It's okay. You don't need to say that. We're friends now. Are you sure? Even I get freaked out traveling with Mila sometimes. You and me both. Hey, Elise. I bet we can find some place nice and quiet for you to live around here. You'd be away from all this danger. But I don't want to leave. This is out of the blue. You got a line on someone who'd be willing to take her? Well, not yet. Don't go making promises you can't keep! <sighs> so what's the plan, kid? I'll figure something out. I promised Mila I would. For Mila, huh? I can't believe they got Mila. Are you so surprised? These are the same thugs who snared the four great spirits. And I let the same thing happen again. Let's get moving, gentlemen. We can't afford to suffer any more losses. Aren't you listening? These guys are way out of our league. Don't be ridiculous. They haven't a chance. Especially against a warrior of your considerable talent. Hmm? Didn't take you for the sort that props up comrades with sweet talk. That depends on the comrade. 
Does it seem to be working? A nice effort, but uh, I only fall for flattery when it comes from the lips of a lady. Then let's go save Mila and the others. I'm sure they'll praise you. Oh yeah? Well then, I guess I'll put out a little effort. <laughs> Elise, Giselle, we have to hurry. But if we get careless, our hex shackles could explode. Gillen said they only explode when you step in a hex zone. It seemed quite precise. It should not explode otherwise. You have that much confidence in our enemy's traps? It's merely conjecture. There could be any number of other possibilities. So in other words, we can't be sure of anything. That is correct. But no one can ever make guarantees about the future. I'm a daughter of House Cheryl. I can get through this. I can't be scared. Are we going to be okay? Yeah. Hang in there, Ellie. <sighs> it's been so long since I've had to fight alone. I'd forgotten how tiring it can be. Are you okay? Don't worry. I will protect you. Thank you. You just said that you were willing to sacrifice us. Now you're gonna protect us? Which is it? Hmm. It's both. If I can protect you, I will. However, if I'm forced to make a hard choice, I will not hesitate to do so. That is my duty as the guardian of this world. <sighs> we can't tarry any longer. We have to move on. I don't know how anyone could carry that burden. I understand. My brother has that duty too. Tipo! Where are you? Elise. Fear and panic won't bring Tipo back to you. But still... Mila, can we stop for a minute? I'm gonna teach Ellie my secret magic spell. Here, take my hand and jump up three times. If you do that, you can give me half your sadness and you'll feel halfway better. Okay. There. Don't you feel better now? A little bit. See? When I was little, my brother used to take my hand and cast this spell with me. I think we're ready to go. Drusselle. I'm sorry. I'm not good at channeling spirits. This silly little spell is all I have. No. It's a wonderful art. Thank you. I'm eager to see what your hometown is like. It's just a normal little boondocks town. It did used to be a famous mining colony, though. Since you're human, you must have parents. Are they a lot like you? I don't know about that. Aren't you looking forward to seeing them? Hmm. My parents tend to prioritize work. We don't always get along. I've read about child-parent relationships. There's something called an Oedipus complex? I'm pretty sure that's not it. Ah. So yours is more of the scheming, backstabbing sort of family? Exactly what sort of books are you reading? Fighting alone really makes you realize how fortunate we were to fight by people like Rowan. I can't agree more. It isn't every day you get to ally with Ilbert the Conductor. What's the reason behind his nickname? They say it's because he gains full control of the battlefield. He once crushed three armies in a single day. The battle was called the Priscilla Miracle, and it helped create the Rashigal we know today. I could tell he was no normal man, but I had no idea that he was such a famous tactician. It was such an incredible honor to fight beside a living legend like that. And how might it feel to fight beside the Lord of Spirits herself? Hmm? Did you say something? Nothing. Nothing at all. I hope Elise doesn't get too lonely. She has Rowan and Drusel with her. You don't need to worry. I wonder what Alvin's next job is gonna be. I hope it isn't anything too dangerous. He wouldn't last long as a mercenary if he turned down dangerous work. <laughs> you really are a worrier, aren't you? It's not that. I just wish we could have all stayed together. This was inevitable. We all have different duties. Cheer up. We'll see them all again. Yeah. So what was Fenmont like? Come on, you have to tell me everything. Was it like super cosmopolitan? Were you able to make friends? I don't know. It was pretty normal. 
What, that's it? That's all you have to say? You're always boring everyone with long-winded explanations, but when I ask a question, I get the cold shoulder. Come on, you're blowing things out of proportion. Listen, you're gonna talk and you're gonna tell me everything. You have 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight. Well, there was a nurse at the school named Prin who was always really nice to me. But on the day I went to see my professor, I got attacked by a girl in red clothes. So then I couldn't go back to the school anymore. Although that did result in me meeting Mila. Oh, and in terms of other friends, I met this girl named Elise. Fine, I got it. Message received loud and clear. You met all sorts of other girls while you were away. Good job, Jude. I'm so happy for you. I see you haven't changed a bit.